It's not the 90 degree angle, that attracts me. Nor the straight line, hard and inflexible created by man. What attracts me, is the free and sensual curve. The curve, that I find in the mountains of my country. In the sinuous course of its rivers. In the waves of the sea. And in the body of the favorite woman. From curves, is made the entire universe. The curved universe. Of Albert Einstein. These sentences, are from the great Brazilian architect, Oscar Niemeyer. These words fit like a glove, on this beautiful machine. I say this, because this bike has curved lines, which are straight at the same time. Welcome to Racer TV. The first time I saw this machine, I loved it especially by the straight line in the bottom of the main body. It's very rare to see such a line in a cafe racer project. But when I saw it in perspective, I loved it even more. I like being surprised. And this bike is no exception. What a beautiful machine. This work of art, was made in Portugal, by it rocks bikes. It was built by Osvaldo Coutinho, and Alexander Santos, friends and engineers from Oporto. This project started with this 1997 Yamaha XJR 1200. The first job was to reduce weight and size. 233 kilograms of initial weight, are not very friendly for a cafe racer machine. But it was possible to keep the weight below the 200 kilograms. The forks and brake calipers, are now from a Yamaha YZF. And the original double shocks have been replaced by a monoshock. The custom upper bodywork, is a one-piece fabrication. And believe it or not, can be released by removing just one screw. A trademark of Osvaldo and Alexander's builds. The bike feels very light. And the engine turned out to be a powerhouse. Below 5000 RPM, it's a little sleepy, but from there on, it just shoots up to the red line, always pushing us to go faster. I never knew the origin of the name of this bike. But if you see the end of this video, you will understand, why they call it, the Sunburn. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.